congratulations on a great win and a great finish. Um, Thank you. Do you see that one coming? Is that how you picture the fight ending? Uh, we've practiced that move quite a bit, but uh, didn't think that was how the fight was going to go. Uh, after I got out of mount into the second round, I figured it was going to be a unanimous, unanimous decision because that's what I do. Uh, but I surprised myself a little bit. Is that nice? Is that a nice video when you're like, oh, I just knocked this guy out? It's beautiful. That's my first time in the UFC. So first first KO in the UFC, it's a big night for me, huge night for me. Uh, and it would be even bigger if I get a bonus. I was about I'm to say, you, know, you never know. Yeah. Happen. What do you think, though, a good finish like that against a guy like William Knight, like a, obviously a specimen, everyone knows who he is. Do you think that sort of pushes you further than a decision win would have here? Uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, it makes it... It makes me look really good. Um, like I said, that was my first finish. And, you know, uh, uh, before that, I've been known as the decision guy. I can go a long distance. But obviously now I can I can knock people out too. And that's it's proof of that. And he, I don't think he's been knocked out before. And he's a tough dude. Hits hard. Hits like a rock. Um, I survived a little bit. And, you know, got mine. So... You said that he hits hard. I, I can imagine, like, he looks like he hits hard, right? But was there anything, was there anything in there that kind of surprised you about him? Uh, no, no. The, the, the most surprising thing about him is how nice he is. Okay. Um, we were almost overly nice to each other during the fight. We were, I don't know how many times we both said sorry to each other for a for little bit of low blows and stuff like that. And he poked me in the eye once. And I was like, oh, sorry, my bad. You know, but then we tried to rip each other's head off or knock it off anyways. That was nice, though. Yeah, yeah, pretty fun. It was a fun fight. Yeah. When would you like to get back in there? Uh, I got to heal up a little bit. Got a sti some stitches, but uh, hopefully, yeah, I get another fight this year for sure. Last year, I only had one, and, you know, that hurts uh, with everything. Um, you know, it's nice to be active. Be active and, like, getting in there tonight, it's kind of – it felt far in between from, from the last fight, even though that, that was September, but um, it's good for the body, good for the memory, everything like that. So, Congrats, man. Thank you. What, what feels more special, they actually ending that losing streak or getting that, uh, that, that KO for the first time? Uh, those are hand in hand, but the KO is yeah. uh, it's huge, huge. I've been wanting that for a long time, and uh, I got some um, – I'm fighting with Team Elevation now. Uh, Vinny Lopez and, and Cody Donovan are my coaches now, and uh, we, we've been talking about that, you know, the stuff that we've been doing. We, we want the fight to go 15 minutes. If it goes the way we want to go, we might accidentally get, like, accidentally get a knockout. If we do what we want to do, the knockout will come. But we weren't really aiming for it, you know what I mean? Do you think that he got complacent there at the end, like he was maybe having his way a little bit and maybe just mentally had a slip? And do you – do you, uh, do you feel I, that maybe that was part of the case? I think he was a little tired, for sure. I know I was a little bit tired. He was, he was a big boy. He came in a little bigger than I thought he was going to. Uh, when I agreed to heavyweight, I was thinking he'd be, you know, around 240 and <laughs> he's 251. I was, <laughs> when I saw that, I was like, oh, shoot, I uh, should have asked for a catch weight. But, you know, it, it ended all right. But um, I think he got a little tired and, and didn't think I could finish him. And when you've never been finished, you don't think you can be finished. Well, I think a lot of people in there, they were surprised how – you know, heavy, he did come in, but he looked all muscle. Did he feel as strong as everybody had been sort of in mean, He'd been making these videos about weightlifting and everything. Did he feel as strong as, as most people were thinking he was yeah, going to be? Yeah, he was as strong as he looked, <laughs> uh, for sure. And I, I got bruises all over to, to you know, prove that. Um, he had, he, every time he touched me, it, was, it hurt, you know. But me not having to cut weight, I could take it this time. Uh, and he almost got me one time. He caught me with, like, three or four clean shots. If I had been cutting weight, I don't know if that would have went the same way. So uh, it, it definitely helped that I wasn't cutting weight uh, so I could handle those bigger shots. And speaking of just the difference of what you felt strength-wise, speed-wise, and being able to still deliver that sort of power at the end of the fight, what would you credit to in that training that you've been doing? Uh, and was it something different than what you've been doing before? Uh, we, we work on that range quite a bit in, in training uh, every week, uh, almost – Every day or every other day, we work on that range right there. And I didn't even put any power into that. It was just all, all movement. And I didn't even know I uh, hurt him until I saw him, you know, cocked over on the cage. But uh, then I also trained with, with pretty big guys, Curtis Blades being one of them. Uh, so I'm definitely used to the size and power and, and uh, how to deal with those type of guys. Well, I was going to say, what is it like working with Curtis, especially when, you know, we saw William trying to do some takedown stuff, but 
wasn't it wasn't as successful as I think he was maybe going to be. Would you credit that to working with guys like Blades? Uh, yeah, we just have a really good program going on at Team Elevation, and it uh, it, it works. It works. And guys like that, and there, there's numerous guys there that can wrestle and 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 train like that. So, yeah. so now that you've got the uh, you've got this. Uh, TKO, you got this knockout finish. Is this now something that's going to be, uh, now that the feeling feels good, is this something you're going to be hunting for even more so going, in, um, going forward? Or? No, not not at all. It's just something to add, add to the list of stuff I can do. Uh, so when they when they talk to me about, about me now or when uh, opponents are looking me up, they have, they have to take that into account that I can knock people out now. Because before they're like, oh, Devin, he just doesn't yeah. have it. He doesn't, he doesn't go for the knockout. He doesn't have it. He'll not, not, he won't knock you out. Now they know that I will. So it's, you know, and like I said, it just comes, comes with whatever else that we're doing. Lastly, was that sort of subtly just burning in your back of mind that you were like, man, when am I going to get this knockout? When am I going to get this finish? Is this one of those things just sort of teammates can politely nag you about? But is this something that was just burning you a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. I've been wanting one for a long time. And every fight, I want to I get that knockout or, and, and also get that bonus. Um, but it's, you know... When I get in the fight, I'm all right with not getting that. I'm all right with just getting the victory a lot of times. And that's all I was doing tonight. But like I said, I've been working on some different stuff. And it just it was, it came along with it, came along with getting that W. And if you could get that bonus, what would that mean for you? And uh, what sort of things would you have that earmarked for? <sighs> I, first thing that pops in my head is my truck. You know, I always want to spend money on my truck. But now, you know, they... It's uh, it's it's tax time right now, and you know, got to pay those and and uh, you know, spend some more and make some more for for next year. But uh, I got a family at home, wife and daughter. Got to, you know, clear with them first. But uh, so yeah. What's the pecking order between daughter and, and wife when it comes to buying things? Who gets it first? Oh, the the daughter. She gets her way. Yeah. She's eight. She's, <laughs> She's eight. Boss. She's got me wrapped around her little finger. There you know. You yeah, and it's Easter, so. Uh. <laughs> That's awesome. Congrats on the victory. Thank you.